there, file merge. I am definitely doing this in two videos. And look at this, look how awesome this is. On the left side is my local changes that say Peter Griffin. And on the right side, I have the remote that says Homer Simpson. Now you can see up and down right here, I have the, where the two changes are. So what it wants me to do here is because I was the last one to do this and I have both copies, I have to make the decision on what change gets sent to GitHub. Now this is a good time, and I do this with coworkers, it's a good time to talk to these coworkers because you may not know if they want to keep those changes or if they're old changes. For all I know, Homer Simpson could have done these changes a while ago and he doesn't really care, he was just testing something out. And typically in cases, when you have merge conflicts, it could simply be a space, like literally you've tabbed something over and you don't know if that needs to stay or if that needs to go. That can definitely be an issue. So make sure you communicate with people. This is a great tool, but keep in mind, when you do have merge conflicts, you're gonna need to communicate with your team and figure out what's supposed to be there and what's not in case it's not obvious. In this case, we know exactly what's going on. I'm gonna take Homer Simpson's on the bottom and I'm gonna take mine on the top. And so, I'm going to go ahead and do a file, save, I'm going to save that merge, I'm going to close the merge tool, and sometimes Git is kind of flaky with this merge tool. Typically you can see nothing has happened on my screen, but typically if 50-50 or so it will ask you was, was the merge successful, and I did not get asked that, so I have to basically control C out of this. And this is why not everyone prefers this method. I prefer it because I like having the two files right there. It's just easier for me. And so I merged the files. I saved the merge. Git noticed it. So if I do a git status, I have the modified favorite character and I have favorite character dot org, which is for original. It kept my original file. Now every time I do this, I always remove the original because I don't really need it. And if I do another, let's clear this out so you guys have room to see, another git status here. So if I open up Vim, favorite character, look at this. I have favorite character Peter Griffin and Homer Simpson's on the bottom. Now, we'll quit this. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a git commit. Actually, it's already committed. And I'm going to go ahead and do, oh, I'm sorry, it's been added. Forgive me for that one. We are going to do merge fixed. And we're going to clear this out. And I'm going to go ahead and push now. Now, technically you should pull, but we know, since we have both users here, nothing has happened. So I'm going to do git push origin master. And before I do this, you might be asking yourself, well, still on GitHub, we have Homer Simpson, Homer Simpson. So you're still going to have a conflict because you have Peter Griffin in there. Well, Git knows that we just did a merge, and it knows we chose that merge. So it's actually sending that information as well. So if I do a git push origin master, it sends it right away. And there we go. If we check on GitHub right now, it's going to be our Peter Griffin Homer Simpson combination. And we're good here. And so let's go ahead and do a git pull origin master. And you can see favorite character had a change. Clear. Let's do Vim favorite character right here. And there you go, Peter Griffin, Homer Simpson, the mix is there. So let's go ahead and do one more merge conflict, but I'm gonna show you another way to do it. All right, everybody, through the use of movie magic, I have gone back and reset both of these files. You can see Homer's on the right, Peter's on the left, once again. None of these files have been saved or sent to GitHub yet, but we're gonna do that right now, and then we're gonna deal with a new type of merge conflict. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's clear that. Let's get status that. Let's get commit, add that, and message it. Homer rules. Let's get push origin master that. Let's bask in our success on that. And we have our changes here. So let's go ahead and do the same thing again. Let's go ahead and write this file git status that, git commit everything there, 
Peter rules. Can't even spell rules. And let's do a git pull. Let's clear this out actually. Git pull origin master. And we have the conflict again. Now, I'm not going to use the git merge tool this time. This time around, I'm going to just open the file itself. If I do a git status, you can see it says both modified on there. So watch this. If I, I'm going to do text me for this just because I can move around with the mouse a little bit easier and highlight some stuff a little bit easier. Uh, so let's go ahead and do text mate for favorite character. Right. Now look at this file. You can see head right there and then a line right here. Do you see it added all of this in here? So what it's basically doing is it has two copies. This copy up here is where the head is and this copy down here is where this commit is. So the head for me is Peter Griffin, but the last commit that was made by Homer, and that is his right there, and that's the commit message. That's the, that's the commit ID right there. So now I need to choose which one I want, or I can merge it around, do whatever I want with it. But let's go ahead and we do have to delete these lines. So let's go ahead and do the same thing again. Now let's take out everything here. And I'm gonna choose, let's choose Peter on top and Homer on the bottom. And let's save that file. We're gonna close it. Let's do another git status, both modified, which is fine. And we're gonna go ahead and do a git commit am merge fixed and we're going to do another git status it's a head by six commits and so where did these six commits come from essentially what they are is this is what happens git creates these save states when you have all these merge conflicts and branching and all that kind of stuff when, when it's all coming together now it doesn't tell you like it doesn't a commit doesn't necessarily have to be a manual thing that you do although technically it is because when you pulled in this stuff and there was that mess, Git was making save states because it wants you to be able to get to wherever you need to go. It's, it's flexible that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's go ahead and check it right now. There you go, Peter and Homer, that's what we have on our local. So now I'm gonna do a git push, and then we make sure we're good. Yep, git push origin master. And there we go, we sent off that code. So let's go ahead and come to Homer Simpson right here. Let's look at our favorite character. So we have Homer and Homer, which makes sense. We haven't pulled yet. Git pull origin master. And we have our changes. Look at that. Clear this out. Cat favorite character. And look at that. Peter and Homer. It's the exact same thing. Whatever you guys feel more comfortable doing, by all means, do it. I personally like the file merge because it basically goes through and finds all those symbols that Git puts in and tell it just lets you use a right and left arrow to fix the so file when we started was blank. There was no character names inserted on there. So what Jason and Homer did, we made our own save states, our own commits, and we decided that Homer was gonna push his changes to Git first. So when he does that, GitHub now has the code Homer Simpson and Homer Simpson. Now, after that, I'm going to try to push my code, but keep in mind, Homer has already pushed his to GitHub. I don't have those changes. So when I try, I have an error. It's not necessarily even an error. It's just I don't have the latest code to merge in. Someone has pushed their code before me. So I need to go back. I pull. This is essentially a pull right here this horribly chalked looking arrow. I pull the code back, <clears throat> I merge that code in, and when I have my merge fixes and I'm done, I make a new commit. Now the reason it's blue is just because I'm trying to illustrate that it's a different commit. It's a new save state. And then after that, I'm gonna push, and there we go, we have the Peter and Homer combination. That is exactly what we did over these past two videos. That wraps it up for me, guys. I hope you all 
have a great week. It's the weekend for me right now, but I hope you guys have a great week or the weekend's about to start. Hope you have a great weekend. But you